Is it really possible to create Udemy courses with nothing but your smartphone? In this video, I'll be revealing to you how anyone can become a Udemy instructor with a smartphone. Yes, that's right. Before now, I always tell people that they need a laptop to be able to become an instructor on Udemy. That is not really true, but I am trying to avoid any future problem because if you're not really good at creating courses with your smartphone, if you have not done that before, it will be very hard for you to be able to create courses or become an instructor on Udemy. So that is why I mostly bounce people back. But the truth is this, you can become a Udemy instructor with a smartphone. And that is what I want to show you in this video. So imagine having the power to share your expertise, passions and insight with the world all from the palm of your hand. No fancy equipment, no expensive software, just your smartphone and a whole lot of creativity. So if you have ever wanted to become a course creator on Udemy, then this is the series for you. Enough of the talking, let's get started. Now, to create online courses using your smartphone, there are some basic tools you must have. The first one is an application called InShot. This is a mobile video editing application you can download for free on Google Play Store or Apple Store. They have the free version and the paid one, but you can use the free version conveniently. And the second one is Screen Recorder. This is another tool you will also need. This tool is used to record your screen like the name sound Screen Recorder. That is the purpose of this tool, to record your screen. And the next one is Canva. Canva does not really need much introduction. The purpose of Canva here is for designing your slides. So you will need Canva and you don't need to also go for the paid plan. And lastly, what you will need to get is a microphone. To get clear audio, you will need a microphone. Since you won't be buying a laptop, which I believe is very expensive to get a better laptop, take that money and get a mic. The purpose of mic is to help you filter noises from your environment. Mic helps to only pick voices close to it and reduce other sound around. I am using the mic to record this video right now. I normally use mic for all my recordings. These are the tools that will be needed. I will give you some days to go and get these tools so that you can run along with me. Now, there are some conditions on creating courses with a smartphone. Remember I said the reason why I do bounce people back from joining my mentorship program because they don't have a laptop is because creating courses with a smartphone is very hard. It's very difficult, I won't lie to you. If you have never recorded a course using a smartphone or recorded any video at all using a smartphone, it will give me more work to teach you how to do that. That is why I normally bounce that option out of my mentorship program. But I have looked into it and said, okay, if you have the passion of becoming an instructor on Udemy and all you have is a smartphone and getting a laptop will be very expensive for you. Why don't I just show you how you can do it with, with your smartphone because I have recorded so many videos using my smartphone. So I myself can create courses using smartphone. But since I have a laptop and it is more easier to use a laptop to record video, I prefer going with my laptop. But let me help you get some phones that you can use to purchase a laptop for yourself so creating courses can become easy for you. So number one condition is it is not as easy as using a laptop. Creating videos with a smartphone is not as easy as using a laptop. It is very hard. That is why I prefer people getting a laptop before they can join my mentorship program. But if you want to follow this route, great. But have it at the back of your mind that it is not as easy as using a laptop. And number two condition is that you can only create slide courses. An example of slide courses is what you are seeing on the screen right now. I'm not showing you anything. I'm not taking you to any website or showing you anything. I'm just giving you slides. That is what you can only do when you create courses with a smartphone. You can only create slide courses. And that is the course I'm going to use as an example throughout this series. So there's no way you can create some real practical courses like coding. Any coding course is not possible. Whosoever want to learn how to code in Python or HTML or CSS will not want to use the phone. It is more convenient using the laptop to code. So there's no way you can teach courses that has to do with coding or designing or anything more technical. You can only create slide courses with your smartphone. Creating anything technical with your smartphone 
yes, it is possible, but people will not really take that course serious because, come on, why should you use a, a phone to show me how to do this, how to do that, when you can use a laptop? But for slide courses, what they are really following is your message, is the message that you are passing. So the slide is just like a summary of what you are saying. That is why slide courses can go well with smartphone, but when it becomes too technical, it has to be a laptop. So if you know you have a technical course in mind, just, just keep that you have a laptop and go with slide courses. So number two is that you can only create slide courses. And number three is that it will involve your creativity. Remember, you are not used to this software that I mentioned. Maybe some of you are not used to Canva. Some have not even used InShot before. So this is where your creativity comes in. You have to make sure it looks good. That people will not even know that it was through your phone that you created this course. And that's what I want to show you in this series. Every episode, I'll be giving you different tips. I will create the course for you. I will show you how I create the course. I will show you everything. I will record it with my phone. So I won't be using the laptop for the next video so you, that you'll be seeing in this series. I'll be using my phone to do everything so you can see that, yes, it was phone that I used to create this course. It will involve your creativity in terms of the slide, in terms of the cutting, the editing and everything so that your student will not know that it was a phone you used to record this course. That is why I said you can only create slide courses. What I'm going to show you in this series is how to create courses with your smartphone that students will not even know it was true smartphone that you used to record the course. So these are just the theory conditions on creating courses with a smartphone. In this series, I will take you from the beginning of the course creation to submitting it on Udemy for approval. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video. If you have ever wanted to become a creator on Udemy, this is the series for you. Don't miss out. If you have not subscribed, subscribe now. And if you have interest to join my mentorship program but you don't have a laptop, watch this series to the end. After you have watched it and you have taken action, then you can come and join my mentorship program because while you have gone through my training. So I want to train on how to create courses on your smartphone. Your, you joining my mentorship program is just to learn other things because course creation is one part. Ranking on Udemy and promoting your course is another part. So I, I'm just training you on this part of using your smartphone so that you can raise money to get a laptop for yourself. In my next video, I will show you how to submit your topic on Udemy and how to generate course outline using ChatGPT. And I forgot to mention that you also need to create an account with ChatGPT. That is also free. So you can go ahead right now to do that. Go create a free account with ChatGPT. Make sure you subscribe before leaving and see you in my next video.